How's it going everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Port Vale Youth Academy Legends career mode here on FIFA 19. Um, in this episode um, we are going to be playing our first Champions League game because if I put the poll results up on screen right now you will see that um, it's been two days since I uploaded that video by the way so I've given it I feel like I've given it enough time and the majority said yes play and try to win it so that is exactly what i'm going to do the reason i asked in the first place was because i didn't get there myself uh, this uh, simulation did it for me which feels a little bit cheating away but at the same time i didn't know how the simulation was going to go so that's why i asked the question uh thank you so much though for um interacting with that as i just move everything back on my pc screen for some stupid reason um so we are going to be playing our first group game on, in this episode, it's going to be against Fenerbahce. The annoying thing is, is it's in between a game against Man United and a game against Spurs. <laughs> Which doesn't help the situation, but you know what? Who cares? Um, of course we're going to be trying to win the Premier League as well. With you guys voting to try and win the Champions League this season, that means, right, that this season will be the last full season of this career mode and what I mean by that is uh, obviously if we win the Champions League this season the series is finished like the series is over well the main series is over anyway because once the series finishes I've planned to do a couple of like spin-off sort of videos like maybe experiments or something like that with this career mode I don't know but the main series will be over once we win the Champions League if we don't win the Champions League this season then next season will be just the Champions League so uh, like I did last year, when I got into the Champions League, uh, I literally just did the Champions League. And that's probably what I'll do again. Not too sure on that yet, but I'll see. Anyway, enough about the Champions League right now, because we've got other things to focus on, like Premier League games, starting with a home game against Crystal Palace. My controllers are really acting up, well not my controllers, my PS4 in general is really acting up today. This is the second time this has happened now. I'm trying to connect the second controller and it's just not connecting. You can see like, the light's on, the, the light's on, but it's not doing the thing. It's supposed to go out onto the PS4 screen and connect. Right, okay, let's try again. Why you no connect? Why do you not want to connect? It's synced to the PS4, I haven't done anything with it. There we go, finally. Jeez. Finally, we got it working. I'm not playing on one button, you stupid game. So these are the teams that are going to play in this game. Uh, Crystal Palace now have Joel Osoro. Uh, they signed him from Watford. Uh, for me, I'm going to try something a bit different. Well, not a bit different. I've literally changed one player. I'm going to put Oliver Juho at the right wing instead of Arsene Golubev. Uh, because after going through all of the goals and how many goals these guys have scored uh, and of course Oliver Juho uh, scored a couple of goals against Manchester United as well I figured why the hell not uh, obviously those goals against Manchester United were two years ago but <laughs> let's see how this goes this is Jaden Sancho it's through for Song and he's put it wide but we need to make sure that they don't get many chances like that he miss hit that Song did as Hugh Harris into Dylan Dylan strength. He needs to get it back on his left if he can. Oh, when he has. Oh! <laughs> Finish! Finish from Dylan Dylan. What a, what a brilliant strike that was. He just stopped it dead. Well, not quite dead, but he got it back on his left foot. Just one touch and side foots it into the top corner. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. Oh, oh I could watch that all day. Oh, it's Song again, though. I've given it away. Asoro. This is Josh Anamara and Asoro. Forces a safe out of a tuning. Asoro still calls it causing us problems this many seasons later. Harris. That's nice. Blondo. Made a good run. Dylan Dylan's got in the good position. Comes out to Harris. He finds Anasio. Oh, man. Oh, what? I'm sorry. What? What is Lonin doing? I know we ended up grabbing the ball, but why the hell is he punching it towards his own goal? 
Sancho. Guillaume. Oh. And it's gone in for a Soro. And he'll it, get a second go. And it's in the end, he scored it. Guillaume went in for a tackle on Sancho. Missed it completely. And then I just got all out of sorts. And a Soro basically had a tap in. Inacio drills it in lower this time. Select the right player, please. There we go. Craig Byrne whips it back in. Blondo's underneath it. And Lunin tips it onto the bar. Oh, that would have been that would have been a great goal. Great ball in from Craig Byrne from that far out. Blondo got on it. Oh, Lunin just got a fingertip to it. Inacio to Dylan. Dylan. One last well, maybe not one last attack, but definitely. One of the last attacks as Joel Wilson decides to go inside himself and have a crack and it's hit Abu Hamed and he's elected to try and header it. Why? You could have absolutely belted that on your left foot. Why have you tried to header that? This is the last attack. This is the last attack for sure. Ujevic, muscle him off. He's got the ball to Abu Hamed. Who hasn't really got many options at the moment. Richardson. Blondo. Oh, that's poor. And John Joe Kenny's got it out. And that's going to be the end of the game. It's a draw against Crystal Palace. 1-1. Decent game. End-to-end -end stuff. Crystal Palace were probably better than us on the day. And, uh, yeah, I think a draw is, is, is the fair result. It's the right result here. So we've had a transfer offer for Bang Wang from Freiburg. That's not happening. 43 million, though. I mean... Yeah, sure, but... Nah. <laughs> and the loan offer for Nicky Vieira, nah. And, uh, I don't plan to sell anyone now, to be honest. I think the squad I have is the squad. Uh, I'm pro I might add to it, but I'm not taking away from it. Speaking of adding to it, um, I had a comment from Mimongo Gaming ch uh, asking me to check out um, Matt Hummel's regen and Mo Salah's regen. So first, let me check if they're still in the game. Probably not at this point. Nope. Uh, Hummel's is going to be a hard one to find because... He's, he was a German centre-back playing in Germany. Whether he was still playing in Germany, I don't know, but... <laughs> and his regen could be... I mean, like, he might be, like, 23, 24 years old now, so... I mean, I, I guess I've just got to look at... I mean, these are all the German centre-backs in the Bundesliga that are fairly decent. This guy's 24. He, he, won't, he won't be that old, surely. So I've shortlisted these two, Semi, Ajani, and Riddle, Ri oh, sorry, probably Rydal, Rydal Frommen. He is 24, but I don't see it being, I, I don't see that one being him, but he has that special something. Uh, now let's go and find Mo Salah's regen. This one should be slightly easier to find. Let me check if Salah is still in the game. He is still in the game, he is not retired yet. He's at Barcelona and he's 80 rated. And he's retiring. So um, I will keep him on the short... I can't keep him on the short list. I can't shortlist him. Um, I will keep him in mind. And next season, I will look for it as region. I won't be able to sign him, of course. That is if there is a next season. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll look at him regardless. Do you think James Wilson should have realised at this point that he's, never just, he's just never going to play for Man United? Like, we're in the year of 2027. I think at this point he'll have been at Man United for about, what, 20 years? And never played for them. <laughs> at the age of 31. Anyway, we're going into this game with the second team, because obviously I'm going to be using the first team for the Champions League game. So uh, that is the team that we're putting out. Um, <laughs> it's going to be interesting. The tune is still in goal because uh, Harris is injured, otherwise Harris would be in this team. And, um, yeah, that's the team we're going with. I mean, not a bad team, is it, really? <laughs> Let's get into this. So Isaac White, that's a great ball to Alexander. And here goes Joel Wilson. It's got Abu Hamid sprinting into the middle. Oh, De Gea just got there. J Bingham couldn't quite get there. I wasn't aiming for Bingham anyway. And De Gea just got a enough of a hand on that to get it out of danger. This is Mehdi Abu Hamid. Good ball. Comes back to him. Flicks it up. Oh, ha ha. Ha ha. Try that again. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh. Oh. I honestly thought some, something was going to happen then. Oh my days. 
Cortez, that's a good ball. Cortez is doing good things. I can't believe what is happening right now. And that's an excellent cross, but just bounced at the wrong time for Juho to get a decent connection. Wilson over the top. Abu Hamed's in. Mehdi Abu Hamed. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Should have put that away. I thought he was offside as well. Here he is again, though. Abu Hamed with the dribbling. I'm just trying to find some space anywhere. Here we go. No, go back. And I oh, I haven't lost the ball yet. It's ball inside to Bingham. Oh, oh, great hit. Oh, my God. Cortez to Harkey. Juho on his left. Abu Hamed heads it on. Archie Bingham gets us a goal. Gets us in the lead. He lead at Old Trafford once again. I'm surprised Abu Hamed won that header, but and I'm surprised Bingham wasn't offside, but you know what? I don't care. It's 1-0 to us. Great bit of play there. Great ball from Oliver Juho. Abu Hamed found a bit of space and Bingham finished it off brilliantly. Lovely, lovely play. Man United's got outplayed. Then again, they did a lot last season anyway. Kater. This is Koric and Kwame has hit the post and Chong is there, free, completely open. And Man United have an equaliser. Brilliant! Great defending, lads. Wilson throws it on to Alexander. This is Wilson. He's got no one really to cross it to. He's got Abu Hamad and Ursoy in the box. Goes outside instead. Velasquez was about to hit that on the volley. It's full time. And it's, again, a one all draw. We seem to be getting quite a few of those. But um, decent again. It's Man United, so it's a, it's a good place to get a draw at, for sure. Oh, wow. Okay, then. So, I drop the controller, go to turn on the light, and it, um, yeah, it skips. So, the teams, then. Uh, Fenerbahce is not very good. Uh, I say Fenerbahce isn't really good. It's like... The average rating out of it, I'd probably say, is about 76 or 77. You've got an 80 rated uh, Milik up front. You've got Lucas Digne at uh, uh, left back, but he's 76 rated because they're all getting on a bit now in this career mode. Our team is one change, and that is Charles Richardson's playing instead of Inacio because Inacio is apparently suspended for this game. So there you go. He must have. Uh, he must have been in the Champions League last season as well, and I didn't realise. Benabachi are a good attacking side. Oh, uh, no, this isn't good. Okay, a tune in. Good save. Yeah, yeah, you can moan. You can moan, mate. You can. That defending was absolutely shocking. Look at our passing accuracy. Blondo forward for Golubev. Golubev's in so much space. Inside. It's Fernandez. What on earth was that? No, 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 no. You're not having that. No. No, that's just not on. That is just not on. I am obviously not scoring a goal in this game. <laughs> what is that? What is that? Let's show it one more time. Okay, that went through Fernandez's foot for a start. Secondly, it, it, it just wasn't going in anyway. And thirdly, that is the luckiest clearance I've ever seen in my life because it wasn't going in. If he'd have hit that any lower, that would have gone in and being a known goal. What a joke. Harris. Here's Uyevich. Pace and power. Pace and power. Can he actually hit it on target this time? Fernandez puts in the rebound. It was originally saved by the goalkeeper onto the post. But Fernandez has finally given us the lead. We score our first goal in the Champions League. Jesus, that was pure positioning and a half from Fernandez. Easily tapped in, though. I mean, I'll take it. 1-0. This is Dylan Dylan. He's through. Dylan Dylan! Why didn't I pass it? I've shut my curtain on my webcam. I am an idiot. You gonna focus, or... There we go. I'm back. And I'm now to the right. Better. He's quite to Jailson. Oh! 
Okay then, Jailson with one with a decent strike into that corner of the net because that hit the sides of the net. Ah, oh, passing. Oh yeah, lovely finish from Jailson. Brilliant finish. Fenerbahce have an equaliser, and uh, that's gone straight through Velasquez's legs. But hey, uh, <laughs> we've got a game on our hands. We could be heading for the third one-one draw in a row. Dylan, Dylan, over the top. Oh, please, Abu Hamid. Oh, the power behind that shot. Blondo gets it in. Oh, yeah. Oh. Damn it. That was either going to be, oh, you beauty, or oh, you bastard. And it turned out to be the second one. <laughs> oh, God, that's a good ball. Oh, no. I'd rather draw 1-1 one, one than lose. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> as if, as if they've scored right at the end. Hatunin, what are you doing? What, what is this? What was that? And then you couldn't save that. Wow. Well, just, just wow. The only chance I have of scoring now is doing this. Come on. Oh, really? You're not even going to give me a chance to do that. I want to see if that went in. Can I see if that went in? It hit the bar. It it hit the bar. It hit the bar. Oh my god. Here we go then. Final game of the episodes. We're at home to Spurs. We've got our second team out with Anasio in it instead of Richardson just swapping around. And actually, Atunan's not going in goal after that. And last minute. Hell no, he's not going in goal. No. Uh, Tottenham's team is stacked, still stacked as always, but we're at the point now where Paul Pogba David A and David Oliver can't get in the on the bench. They're both in the reserves. Anasio to Alexander. He goes Harky. Abu Hamed. He's through. Medi Abu Hamed. Oh! Oh! He scooped it up, but just couldn't. It wouldn't bend the right way. It ended up going to, uh, away from the goal rather than towards it. Abu Hamed. Oh my god. He's getting some mad shots away. He just can't seem to score though, Abu Hamed. Out to Juho. Back in towards Bingham. And that is a brilliant finish from Archie Bingham. Into the bottom corner on the volley. With his weaker foot. That is a bloody good finish, that is. I will take that all day. Lovely stuff. I want to see a replay if it ever hurries up. Come on. Come on. Please, I beg. So he passed it to Juho, and Juho passed it straight back to him, and that is a brilliant finish. And it's going to be Wendell, and that is a block from Alexander. I, d I didn't see which one because they both slid him, but I'm pretty sure it was Patrick Alexander. Caramo. Oh, ah, oh, brilliant tackle. Isaac White again. Feels it in again. Bingham, win that. Yes, Cortez! Cristobal Cortez has scored a goal! I don't think he's ever scored a goal for us before. That's not a shock. This is a shock. What you're seeing on screen right now, this is a shock. Cristobal Cortez pulling off the half volley into the top corner-ish of the net. Oh, he hit that well. He really hit that well. 89 rated Alban Lafonte in goal, by the way. And now he's coming off. <laughs> yeah, that was, unfortunately, that was uh, pre-planned. Abu Hamad with the header on. Oh. There we go. That is the end of the game. We end the episode with a win. The only win of the episodes, but finally, a decent game. Tottenham... We're good, but we were better for sure. And uh, the scoreline definitely shows that. 2-0 in the end. And that, guys, is where this episode ends. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to smash the like button down below. Absolutely smash it. Um, and if you liked what you saw and you want to see more, then hit the big red button that says subscribe on it and hit that little bell next to it if you don't want to miss a video of mine. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for all the support lately. And until next time, peace.